you have also made significant strides working to strengthen seed systems and bulk up certified seed of improved varieties so that farmers can access high yielding, climate resilient and nutritious varieties of beans, sweet potatoes, potatoes and maize. Your work has already touched the lives of many people. I was pleased this morning to meet Ms. Emma Oera, the CEO of I&J Harvest Seed Company in Rwanda. With ADI support, her company has, for the very first time, introduced branded small seed packs ranging from 100 gram sample packs to one kilogram for common crops such as beans, maize, and potatoes. Ms. Oera, where are you? Would you just stand up so... Thank you for your work. This range of sizes in seed packs ensures that seeds are accessible to farmers of all economic backgrounds. And the branding of seed packs helps farmers to look for and find seeds in the market. Through the project, she also began working with five new agro-dealers and she has expanded her business to five new districts. Before the project started, she would sell five tons of bean seeds yearly and reach 5,000 farmers. This year, she sold 20 tons of seed beans and reached 30,000 farmers. And market demand isn't satisfied still. Ms. Owara is producing more bean seeds and anticipates selling 40 tons of bean seeds in the next planting season. Imagine amplifying that several fold across the region and the impact that this will have. So we're excited to have farmers and partners from Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, Rwanda, Burundi, and the DRC, and Mozambique as they look to launch their own AI program to share successes, challenges, and solutions. What is discussed here over the next few days will help move this important programming forward. There's an important African proverb, which is actually one of my favorite sayings which says, a child who has not traveled thinks his mother's cooking is the best. <laughs> <laughs> what this convening does is bring you together so you can cook together, share those lessons from across the region and your respective countries in various sectors in terms of what is working well and what is it. That is just so important. It's not just about sharing that which has worked or is working. There's so many important lessons to be learned from our failure. I think it's really, really great. In the Great Lakes, we had a co-creation in December, and in February, we were on the ground. I did want to start out by saying thank you to the Zambian people. And I think this is my 13th visit here. I know a lot of people think that 13 is an unlucky number, but I'm turning that around today. This will be my luckiest visit here. And also uh, going through developing business cases that are really, uh, really, really giving value. These farmers were very happy. I advise them to be keeping at least 100 points while starting. At the end of the season, at least these farmers were buying uh, goat, sheep, and pig according to their preferences. Thank you, Emma. Um, through your explanation, I think you even answered one of the questions I could uh, tell you come from the audience on how are farmers able to make a decision among their competitive needs. Are going to use C1 to produce the QTS or you are going to say that C1. 
be depending on the source of water. You connect the pipe to the tank, and from the tank to, to the farm, <coughs> you use gravity without any pump, any electricity, or any other investment. I really appreciate the this regional uh, conference or training. We have learned a lot. Actually, what I have learned uh, like in Rwanda, we are lucky because the government is giving subsidy. Like in some areas, you get a subsidy of 50%, 70%. If a farmer can get that subsidy and get this uh, replication, uh, many farmers can adapt this and they can uh, plant and get uh, uh, a good yield and get money. How many have reported the increase in yield? You can see through our, in all countries, more than 89% across all the countries were able to increase their yield. You know, this has been such a great few days. Thank you so much. Merci à tous et à toutes. But no, it's wonderful that we could do this together because I think there was a lot of similarities, a lot of opportunities for expanding the learning. Um, one of my favorite sayings, and people who have heard me speak before, like Lata probably have heard me say this, is nothing succeeds like success. And I believe you are succeeding.